this is Robin Bremer, the author of the Kingdom Living series, the pocket study guides, and the Bible study. And today, I want to go over with you one of my scriptures that I really like, and that is Romans 8, 14 and 17. It says, For as many are as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you have received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if we are children, then heirs, heirs of God and joint heirs with Jesus. Now, I want to point out several things here. When I went for my walk the other day, I was meditating on this scripture, and God pointed out some things to me that I want to point out to you. So, first thing is, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God. So the New Covenant is about being led by the Holy Spirit. The Old Covenant is about being tutored by the law. And Jesus fulfilled the Old Covenant by becoming the final sacrifice. Okay? So... It says, for as many as are led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. We are no longer servants of God. We are sons of God. We're family members. Christianity is about being a family, not about following rules. The Old Testament was a different disposition. It was about following the disposition. I mean, it was about following rules. The Old Covenant uh, was all about that. But the New Covenant is all about a relationship, restored relationship. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear. In other words, when you become a son of God, when you become born again, you become born again into a new family, God becomes your father, and you become a son. And when you are a son, you are delivered from the bondage of fear. The Old Testament was called, I mean the Old Covenant was called um, the covenant of death, and it and it's also brings fear it brings you into bondage of fear because you're you're fearful. Did I confess all my sins? Uh, did I bring the right sacrifice? Uh, did I uh, remember my sins and and uh, bring all the sacrifices I need to sacrifice? That was the Old Testament. That was the Ten Commandments. That was the Old Law. We're not under those things. We're led by the Holy Spirit. The Ten Commandments, the Law, is good, perfect, and holy, but it can't make you good, perfect, and holy. And its purpose was not the answer to sin it was the problem to sin the scripture says that um, that the old covenant that was there to show us that we were no matter what we did we, we sinned we messed up it was to show us this is how we're messing up and that's what it does to people in the world they know that they're sinners they know that they're doing wrong nobody has to tell them and they know they're doing wrong but when you get born again and uh, you become God's kid, the law tells you things like don't commit adultery. Well, it doesn't say how or what. But being led by the Holy Spirit shows you how to love your spouse, shows you what they need, shows you how to treat them and so on. So the, the new covenant is so much better than the old covenant. The old covenant was uh, created uh, fear, fear of God fear of missing the mark, fear of the rapture. And that's unfortunately what a lot of preachers are preaching today. But I want to go still further. Now, uh, again to fear, but you receive the spirit of adoption by which we cry, Abba, Daddy, or Abba, Father. And that means that God wants a relationship with us. Jesus died so we could have a relationship. It is so, so important. It's not about being good, not about messing up. It's about a relationship. And when you're so in love with your Father, you're so in love with Jesus, you're not going to want to sin. Right behavior follows. Let me finish up here. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God and children, and if children, then heirs. In other words, Jesus did everything he did for us. He didn't have to beat up the devil. He didn't have to do any of that. He already had all authority over the devil. He already had victory. He already accomplished all that just being God. He didn't have to do anything. But he came down and he did it for us so that we could be free, so that we could have the original position we had walking in the cool of the day with God. And that's how we should expect today. Jesus brought us back to that revelation, to, to that relationship. 
of walking with God in the cool of the day. So you can expect supernatural things to happen in your life because you have a supernatural relationship with your Father. And that scripture, again, is Romans eight fourteen through 17. And my name is Robin Bremer, and I'll talk to you tomorrow.